Okay, so welcome back. Now that you've got your rough outline, it's time to start shading uh, your drawing. Well, we're, in this video, we're going to start by shading the upper lips. Um, now, I actually think the lips are the most difficult uh, parts to draw on a face because there's so many details um, on the lips to in order to make it look realistic. And so I really struggled with it for a long time. Uh, until I discovered the process, the procedure for creating that realistic texture on the lips. So I'll show you that in this video. <clears throat> uh, again, the key to making your lips look realistic is to create that texture that you see. The little creases and lines and uh, unevenness in darkness and light tone. <clears throat> so I'll show you how to do that right now. First step is to create a, a light base tone over the entire lips. So we're just going to take the pencil, hold it very lightly, and go and use this um, horizontal motion across the lips just to add in a light gray tone to it. You don't have to be super detailed about making the tone even. We actually want some unevenness because that's going to make make it look more natural. So I'm just going to be a little uh, carefree about it. Just be careful about not going outside into the teeth. Okay, so now, that, so now that you have your rough layer of tone drawn in, we're going to take your total on and blend that and smooth it out. Okay, so now that you have your base tone put in, it's time to add some details to the lips. Um, if you look at the reference photo, the lips has a lot of these up and down pattern uh, creases and tones in it. So that's what we want to replicate uh, in our drawing. When we put in the base tone, we were using these horizontal motion, but now when we put on the second layer, we're going to be using these up and down motion, okay? Start with the corner here. I'm going to find a piece of scratch paper so I can rest my hand on. Okay. And the point here is that you don't want to make your up and down stroke perfectly even. We're trying to create texture, so we actually want it to be uneven. And I'm not really even filling it in all the way. I'm just sort of putting in lines here and there. While you're doing this, it's good to observe your reference photo and sort of notice where you see a lot of darker tones. So in, the, in this photo here, I see a lot of these white spec and also darker lines in this area so I'm going to try to match that in my drawing and also there's a dark spot area right here you don't have to be perfectly dead on just try to approximate it as best you can don't go crazy trying to spot every little detail that's not what we're, we're trying to do if you, if you just come close to approximating it it will look great in the finished product Don't worry, this is just the first round. We're going to go back over it several times in order to 
create that texture. So right now we're just laying in the vertical tone to give it that up and down look. And when, once I start getting to the center, I begin to slant my pencil a little bit in order to match the, uh, the curve of the lips. So if you look at the reference photo, once you get to the center, the line appears to be more horizontal rather than vertical. So I'm just going to turn my pencil and begin making horizontal lines. We actually want it to look a little chaotic. You don't want it too perfect or too even. Okay, so now that we're past the middle, time to go back to the vertical line. And I'm keeping these strokes pretty light. You don't want to go too dark. We can always layer on more tone, but it's hard to take it away. So go light first and darken as you see fit. Okay, now take your total on and blend that layer of tone you just put in. And after the blending, you can see that it's starting to look a little bit more realistic. Um, there's a lot more unevenness in the tone, and that's giving the lips some texture. Okay, so at this point, um, I will look at the reference photo and sort of try to see let me zoom out so you can see a little bit easier um, I'm going to try to spot any white full light area that is on the lips and in this photo since the light is hitting right down the center of the face you can see there's this light area right there right at the center of the lips so we're going to take our needle boy eraser. Um, I'm just going to tear off a piece from this one. Mold it. You don't want to be working with this big chunk because it's harder to uh, maneuver. Okay, I'll flatten, flatten it out into a fine tip like that. And I'll just use it to lift some of the highlight right in the center. I'm, I'm taking the eraser and using this flicking motion to take off some of the graphite and lighten that area. Okay, just a little bit, okay. So now I'm going to look back and forth between my drawing and the reference photo and try to replicate this pattern as best I can. So I'll look for the areas that are dark and I'll add that into my drawing. Again, you don't have to be perfect here. Just try to approximate it as best you can. At 
At this point, creating the texture of the lips is a process. We're going to be going back and forth, back and forth. And each time, it's going to add more dimension to the lips and make it look more realistic. All right. So I'll take my tortillon and blend that out. I always like to um, use the horizontal motion when blending the lips. At this stage, anyway. Sometimes I will turn it uh, and go this way. Okay, be careful when you get to the light area. We don't want to make it too dark and sort of undo what we put in. When I'm blending this area, I will sort of go all the way across at certain points because uh, it, in the reference photo, the shadow that goes all the way across and there's full light in the middle. So I want to match that look. But you don't want to take the whole turtle on and just mush that whole area. Pretty good. Okay, so that's good enough for that area right now. Now let's work on this side of the lips. Okay. Now you want to really look at your reference photo and mark out the dark areas. It might be hard for you to see on this photo in the video, so if it helps, open up the original file that I included and refer to that one instead. You might be able to see the tone a lot more clearly. And if you're drawing from a photo where it's really difficult for you to see, um, it's okay to just sort of put in random tones here and there these random dark lines so I'm just going up and down and putting in these dark lines almost like a snake Okay. And these are the vertical creases in the lip And you want to be a little bit chaotic with them. Don't make them too neat. So I'm just going to make them a little crazy. That's how we want it. And you can put some that goes down from the top as well. Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing a little bit easier. All right. Okay, so once you put in that, these pens are shoved, it's time to blend it out with your tortilla. Now, we're going to add some highlights to this area. So, take your kneadable eraser and hold it vertically like this. And we're going to just flick up and down the lips, creating these, in order to create these um, white highlights. And you want to vary them up, have them going in different directions, uh, vary them in thickness. OK. 
Okay, just make them a little chaotic. But you do want them to be going up and down. Although you can change the direction a little bit. Okay. And now just take your total on and blend that so, so that it looks more natural. And now we're going to add a little bit more tone. So I'm just going to find the dark areas and make it a little bit darker. At the same time avoiding the highlights that we just put in. And there is sort of, on the reference photo, there is a shadow there against the edge of the lip, so I'll put that in here as well. And you want to add these dark lines sort of right next to the highlight so that it emphasizes them. This part is a little bit tedious, so you got to be patient. Okay, so then let's blend it one more time. All right, and now let's do the same thing to the other side. And we'll put in that shadow near the edge. blend that okay and take our needle eraser put in the highlights Blend that together. Not too hard. You want to go a little bit lighter on the tortillon on this round. Okay. And then add in some dark tone. And at this point I like to go up and down with my tortillon so that it creates that vertical crease look. And also go side to side. We 
you can see I'm sort of blending into the edge of the lip that I drew earlier because we don't want to uh, have that hard line showing up so we want to blend it in because if you look on the lips itself it the lips sort of merge very smoothly with the skin on the outside and a mistake that a lot of beginners make is that they draw in a very hard line right there which really killed the realism okay so that's pretty much the whole process um, now it's just a matter of retouching and going back and forth back and forth and keep doing the same thing until you get that texture and consistency that you want let me zoom out and <clears throat> I'll just go through that process multiple times so you can see how what effect it has on the drawing. Okay, so that's pretty much the whole process of shading the lips. Go ahead and do that on your drawing, and I'll see you in the next video. If you like this video, please do me a huge favor and give it a thumbs up, and also make sure to subscribe to this channel to get access to even more cool lessons. And lastly, if you want to get more free step-by-step -step tutorials, go to mydrawingtutorials.com forward slash bonus and sign up for my free newsletter or you can simply click the link below and just enter your email on the new page that pops up so once again just click the link below enter your email and get access to all my free lessons